This Shape We're In by Jonathan Lethem. This copy of This Shape We're In is from the Joe Pacheco archive. It's in fabulous condition. It is double signed. Very unusual. It's the first double signed copy I've seen. It is signed by Jonathan Lethem in his typical signature style for this book. He signs all the way across the title page and from top to bottom on the title page. All the copies that I've seen that left them signed for this shape we're in are signed the same way. All the way across the page and from top to bottom. It's just it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, this copy is also signed by Chester Brown. Chester Brown did the did the artwork and he has signed at his credit at the back flap of the jacket. So signed by Chester Brown. It's the first copy I've seen signed by him. And illustrators tend not to get a lot of not to get a lot of love. Uh, everything signed, it's always the author, the illustrators, the designers. They barely get credit. You know, Chester's credit is all the way on the back flap, which is very common. Um, you just don't see uh, illustrator signatures very often. There are a number of reasons for that, which I won't go into here. So very nice to see this double sign. He's got a very nice signature. It looks good. He's actually legible, which is it's nice to see legible signatures. I am a fan of stylized signatures, which typically a stylized signature is not legible at all. But I, I'm also a fan of the old-fashioned legible signature, and just Chester has that. Now, this is also interesting to me because the the art design, the design of the book itself, particularly the jacket, the design is by Elizabeth Carries, who is also credited. Her official credit here is jacket design by Elizabeth Carries, and then artwork by Chester Brown. Elizabeth Carries did a lot of art design on early McSweeney's titles. The standalone books, also the quarterly concerns. She had a variety of, of titles. She was the art director. She was the cover art director. She was the guest art director. Pretty much everything that uh, Elizabeth Carries did um, she had a different a different title for it. Um, I do have two or three things. I have three things signed by Elizabeth Carries um, in two signature styles. Uh, don't expect I'll ever see uh, the shape we're in with a Carey signature on it. She didn't sign a whole lot, um, but I. Uh, I digress as I am want to do. Uh, this shape we're in is one of the very first standalone titles by McSweeney's. The exact date of publication of the books um, is hard to discern, and so it's hard to say sometimes exactly the order of things. The very first standalone title published by McSweeney's was Neil Pollock's book. And Neil Pollock's book used a text colophone, stylized text colophone, which I quite like. I quite like the, the colophone they used. It was the first time they ever used a colophone. The first six issues of the Quarterly Concern did not use one. For Neil, for Neil Pollock's book, they used the very first one, stylized text, with very nice. And then for four books, they changed the colophone to an Ouroboros, an Ouroboros um, with, with text. 
and they did that for four books and this shape we're in is one of them the colophon appears four times in two styles one of the interesting things about the Ouroboros colophon is between the four books I don't think they ever used it the same way twice they tweaked what they wanted to do with that Ouroboros as far as the text goes they tweaked what they wanted to do with that colophon with every single book um, they experimented it with it for four books and then they went to the McSweeney's chair and that has been their colophon ever since um, so this one has the colophon very small on the spine as is typical then they have this same style of colophon on the back flap the same as what's on the spine but a fair bit larger it has the Ouroboros and then it has the text um, Oh Ho McSweeney's Books that text is inside the Ouroboros. There's a second variation of the colophon inside the book. Here we have the Ouroboros and below it McSweeney's Books. And that appears again on the bottom of the title page. So this shape we're in uses the Ouroboros colophon. It uses two styles, two variations of that colophon. And I'm going to stop there as far as talking about the, the Ouroboros. The other three books um, Suffice to say, I could go on and on. But anyway, very nice double signed copy. Let them, Chester Brown. This book is from the Joe Pacheco archive. Uh, I have provenance for this. So very cool to have. I'm going to add this to the collection. And I'm going to pull out a, another signed copy and list it, list it for sale and add this to the collection. Very happy to get it. Um, I think I got it for a fantastic price. Um, really neat artwork. The artwork you really have to kind of look at to appreciate. It doesn't it doesn't jump out as oh wow this is really neat artwork. Uh, you gotta you gotta kind of let yourself look at it for for a couple couple of minutes. Yeah. But there we go.